part three. In this section, we are going to find uh, study about two theorems. One of them is remainder theorem. As the name indicates, this theorem is about the remainder. Let us see. When a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is given by p of a. See, when you are dividing by x minus a, equate x minus a equal to 0, x minus a equal to 0, x is equal to minus a shifted to the next side, x equal to a, therefore p of a gives the remainder. Let us see, that means if the polynomial is divided by x minus 2, x minus 2, equating x minus 2 equal to 0, x minus 2 equal to 0 gives x is equal to 2, minus 2, go to that side becomes plus 2, then the remainder is equal to p of 2. Again, if p of x is dividing by x plus 3, x plus 3, equating to 0, x plus 3 equal to 0, gives x equal to minus 3, then remainder is p of minus 3. Let us solve a problem here. Find the remainder when the polynomial p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 1. Since p of x is dividing by x plus 1, see that you are dividing by x plus 1. x plus 1 equal to 0. Can you find x? Yes. x plus 1 equal to 0 gives x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, remainder is equal to p of minus 1. What p of minus 1 is? Replace x by minus 1 in the given polynomial. Minus 1 the whole cube plus 3 times minus 1 the whole square plus 3 times minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 cube minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 square is plus 1. So 3, 3 into minus 1, minus 3 plus 1. Simplify minus 1 and plus 1 cancels, 3 and minus 3 cancels, therefore is equal to 0. So in this case, you are getting remainder is equal to 0. See the next theorem known as factor theorem. What a factor is? If x minus a is a factor of the polynomial p of x, then the remainder p of a is equal to 0. By the word factor, you know 5 is a factor of 15. Why? Because when you divide 15 by 5, remainder is equal to 0. So whenever you are getting remainder is equal to 0, that term will be always a factor. In case of polynomials as well, we are directly applying that strategy when a polynomial p of x is dividing by x minus a, remainder is p of a, you know, that remainder should be 0. Determine whether x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. So to verify whether it is a factor, we should find the remainder. What the remainder is? p of minus 2. See p of minus 2. Why we took p of minus 2 itself? Because x plus 2 is equal to 0 gives x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, p of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 the whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 the whole square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 8 plus 12 minus 6 plus 1 is equal to what? Minus 1 which is not equal to 0. Since remainder is not equal to 0, x plus 2 is not a factor of the polynomial. If it is equal to 0, you can write factor of the polynomial. See one more example. Find the value of k for which x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial p of x is equal to kx square minus 3x plus k. Given x minus 1 is a factor. So what we can assess x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial then definitely is a factor given. So remainder should be 0. What is the remainder here? x minus 1 equating to 0. x is equal to 1. Therefore p of 1 is equal to 0. Substituting it is k into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus k equal to 0. That is k minus 3 plus k equal to 0. k plus k gives 2k minus 3 equal to 0. Shift to 3. 2k is equal to 3. What k is? k is equal to 3 by 2. So in this way you can solve the other problems in the exercises 
S1. 